So let me explain the story. A few months ago, I created a video called the Minimal Desk Setup. And now it's actually my most popular video. It's the reason why a lot of you guys are probably here right now. But I may have, you know, fibbed or, you know, bended the truth a little bit because to be honest with you, it's not so minimal anymore. And actually, it's pretty cluttered. It's a problem. I'm not a cluttered person, but it's just cluttered right now things get dirty. So after that video, I went on to making a gaming PC and I was still recording videos at this desk. And then a little bit after that, I decided to buy a vinyl cutter. Now I have a vinyl cutter here on this desk. And now it's just a little bit too overwhelming. I'm a full-time real estate videographer. So I was constantly setting up and tearing down my setup because I had to take my stuff to and from work. So I was having this issue where I needed to buy two of everything. So with the help of a video I found on YouTube from DSLR Video Shooter, I found a solution to fix those problems. So first things first, I need to to clean off this whole desk and then we're going to secondly install all the new things I got and then thirdly we'll kind of just wrap it up and go over everything that I got. This is the YouTuber setup that I always wanted. Guys if you're new here my name is Alfred Romero and welcome to the Wave Gretzky Show. Hey definitely take a second to scroll down and consider subscribing. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's free and it would help out the channel a bunch. You guys have no idea. Seriously and if you don't enjoy the content you can always unsubscribe later but don't even worry about that. Let's jump right into this thing. Alrighty, so here's pretty much everything you're gonna need. An adjustable three-tier arm from Amazon, a single monitor arm, also from Amazon. We're gonna be drilling a hole out of this later. We have a tripod ball head, as well as a locking screw and a camera tripod screw. You'll definitely need all three. A camera mount that's a monopod extension, as well as another ball head. To assist my camera, a Andy Cine 4K, and I also got these batteries off Amazon as well. For lighting, a flexible LED light panel that also comes with a cool remote, Allen wrenches, screwdrivers, zip ties, and cable management. And last but not least, the Vivo monitor stand from Amazon, which I happen to already own. So basically I needed to remove the monitor arm that I already had on because we're gonna be placing another one right underneath this. The three tier arm is gonna be supporting my camera. However, using the Allen wrenches, we're gonna be taking off the monitor mount that comes on the end of it. We don't need this anymore. This plastic clip on the end also needs to come off. I actually didn't realize how good this was gonna be stuck in there. After struggling for a while, I actually just ended up grabbing the drill and making a mess. Now the hole on the end of this arm isn't big enough for the tripod screw, so using a quarter size bit, I did some drilling. If I had a stepper bit, I'd probably use this instead, but I'm just working with what I had. And now you can screw on your ball head. So after placing back the arm as well as the monitor, I quickly realized that this setup wasn't going to work, but just messing with it some more, I ended up just shuffling it over to the other side. And now I can still have the same free range motion with my camera. I'm using my camera to film right now, but this is what it would look like if I was going to be setting it up. So last but not least, we're gonna add on our lighting. So using the drill again, I went ahead and made the appropriate size hole for another tripod screw. This is where your locking washer comes in handy. You definitely don't want this thing unscrewing over time and you want it to be there up for a while. The cool thing about this LED light is that it has threads on all four sides, so you can choose really where you want it to go. 
I wasn't quite satisfied with the positioning of this, so instead of the bottom left, I moved it up to the top right. So now basically after this, I just went through and checked all my arms to make sure I hand tighten them appropriately. Using these clips that the monitor mount came with, I use them for cable management. Try not to break them like I did. Like I had mentioned earlier, the LED panel comes with a remote and it ranges from cool lighting all the way to warm light. And you can even adjust the brightness. So as far as audio, I'm still rocking the same setup, which is the blue compass attached to the Shure SM7B. And that's connected to the cloud lifter going through the Zoom H6. I still have to take the Zoom H6 to and from work, so there's really nothing I can do about that. And now we finally got ourselves a chair. I got this gaming chair from Staples for 200 bucks. I wasn't really set on buying a gaming chair, so to speak, but to be honest, a lot of the office chairs didn't really look that good either. This is a major upgrade to what I had before. I didn't realize how big of an impact this was gonna be making, and I really didn't take into consideration how long I was gonna be spending at this desk. And if needed, I also have a focus right just in case I need to use this microphone to talk to my friends. Although I don't stream, I really do enjoy gaming. Guys, if you made it this far into the video, that's honestly unbelievable. I really appreciate the support, and if you enjoyed it, definitely give it a like and leave a nice comment. If it's your first time here, hey, I'm on a mission to do this YouTube thing full time, but I need your help. So do me a favor and scroll down to consider subscribing. And with all that being said, I will catch you guys same time, same place next week. Peace.